Professor Jeff Echo, I'm uh, very happy to welcome you at the University of Toulouse. And uh, I would be happy that you make a presentation of yourself. I'd be delighted. Well, first, it's, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here back in Toulouse, one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, on a nice warm day. Um, I'm Jeff Cole. I run the Center for Communication Policy at UCLA. And we're interested in media and media issues. And I think, just as throughout history, just as families and the church have had an extraordinary influence on people's lives and attitudes, I think in the 20 and 21st century, uh, the, probably the most important institution has been the media and the role the media plays in shaping people's attitudes, knowledge towards the rest of the world, behaviors in sex and violence, and a thousand other things. So we're really interested in looking at those effects, those impacts, and seeing how media changes people's lives. And at the Center for Communication Policy, we really believe in doing policy work that can change things not just writing for obscure academic journals, although we do lots of publishing, but really creating what we hope is first-rate research that can be used by policymakers, can be used by business people, governmental leaders, to really lead to important change. Thank you very much for this introduction. I would like to know more precisely what uh, the Center for Communication Policy is doing. The center is uh, 10 years old and does all kinds of things in all kinds of areas. We've done about 14, 15 different conferences. We do a lot of research. Uh, we do a lot of work with government. But we're probably best known for two particular research projects. The first uh, was the one in the 1990s looking at television content, specifically television violence and, and sexual attitudes as well on television but Americans are particularly concerned about violence. And the issue of television violence is the most studied issue in social science. It's been studied for 30 years. There have been 3,000 studies. And all of this research tries to get at the basic question, do people see violence in the media, and does it inspire them or somehow incite them to go out and commit acts of violence in society? Is there a link between violence in the media and violence in society? And most of the research says there's some kind of a link. We're not sure exactly what it is. We can't always predict it. My own belief is that if you're looking for causes of violence in society, television and film are probably in the bottom half of the top 10. And media comes into effect when there are issues of poverty or drug use or alcoholism or gang or, in America, lack of gun control.